So, I want to give you a little inside look on how I do my performance testing. So you got a bike and a scooter here. I do them all the same. I use, I set out cones at 100 feet apart and I use my camera to time my time between those and that's, a, that's what I present and compare for comparison data time. It's a lot easier for me to do than some other methods. Uh, and then I will do braking and measure it four times. So I do multiple tests, average those numbers, and that's how I get to something that's uh, solid and comparable. I used to do 20 miles per hour on the braking portion, um, on the bikes especially, because a lot of the bikes will get to 20. Uh, what I started to find is that 20 miles per hour, that starts to become a little bit more about uh, technique and uh, familiarity with the bike uh, or the scooter than it does actually the brakes themselves. So 50 miles per hour, what I felt that is a really good uh, determining factor on how different the brakes themselves are. I have a specific hill in town that I use for the hill climb testing. Uh, I always use the same hill, put in some of that information. A note about hill grades. Hill grades are very misunderstood and they're not the same as a slope you might think of. A 45 degree slope actually calculates to a 100% grade. For example, depending on the source you cite, there's either between two or 11 hills in San Francisco, a notably hilly city, that exceed 30% grade. A lot of scooters in particular will have ratings of 25 to 30% slopes that they can climb. That is a very steep hill. The hill I use is only about 14% slope and that's still, even though it doesn't necessarily appear like it, it is quite a steep hill. And then with range testing, I track the range, sometimes with this camera that has GPS, sometimes with their GPS, using the odometer, then I recharge uh, using a watt meter, so I know how much energy I used to go a certain number of miles, and that's how I arrive at a added efficiency number, and then I can project range uh, from that point without having to use the entire battery, which isn't really good for the, the batteries, the lithium ion batteries. 